Hi everyone, uh, my name is Carlo and I'm going to make this video to show you how to expand uh, your channels on a Maxon MCW45WCB radio. It's a 40 channel radio with uh, ch 10 channels on uh, uh, 10 weather channels. Highs in the upper 80s, Wednesday night. That sounds creepy to me. <laughs> well, uh, the first thing uh, to expand a little bit of your your channels here on the radio is going to be take the top uh, cover, the top cover off. That's all. That's the only thing you have to do, just to expand the frequencies. Uh, you have to go to this side, the front board you will see two jumpers. Unfortunately the camera is not going to get them very well but I will be able to see it further. Um, this jumper uh, has a position. You have to cut this jumper and put it on the other position. I'm going to show you further uh, uh, how, to, how to solder it correctly. Uh, the other jumper is right next to the CPU unit right here in this area. You will see A and B. So you have to also make a cut on the current jumper and uh, just uh, just uh, uh, dis uh, disable it and put the other one on the other side. Now since the camera is not able to get the whole, uh, the precise uh, cut or the precise instructions, I made this on uh, paper so you can have a little guidance on that. Uh, the jumper that's uh, very close to the channel 9 switch, it's it looked like this way. The jumper, it was on this position. You only have to trace, you have to cut it, and you have to put the jumper on this side. You can solder it with another piece of, uh, of uh, copper wire or whatever comes in hand. And the second step going to be to cut this trace of the jumper that was used to be here. You have to cut this, leave this uh, completely clean, and uh, you have to put a piece of uh, copper wire also uh, bridging uh, this, uh, this uh, jumper setting. And you have to lift your radio on and uh, just cut off the power from the, um, from the power supply. Leave it about for about a 30 seconds, I don't know, maybe a minute, with, and then you turn it off, connect the radio, again back from the, uh, to the power supply and turn it on so the CPU unit can be reset, and uh, there you go. You have to press the channel 9 button, and on the display you will find a plus sign. This means that you're on the upper 40 channels, and you can uh, navigate through them all the way to the channel 40. I think it's 27, uh, 685, I believe, 695, something like that. <clears throat> then you press again channel 9, and then you see the minus, uh, the minus symbol here, so you are 40 channels below channel 1. That way you can expand uh, your channels and uh, chat with other friends that are uh, possibly DX. Or just uh, just take full advantage of what this radio has to offer for you um, besides just having 40 channels so it's pretty convenient just to have uh, this kind of programming instead of the PLL switches um, and all that stuff you only you have buttons here in the front so that's pretty much it and uh, put the cover uh, on the four screws and that's it if you would like to uh, uh, have a peek and tune or tweak the radio you can find that info there um, on, on the internet. Uh, the info that I found on the internet about modding this uh, model uh, was, not very, uh, was not very accessible. You have to log in into certain forum groups and uh, I didn't like that very much. Uh, it's explained that some models that use the three wire will not work. On the, on the three wiring, you know, the uh, battery, uh, 12 volts and ground. <coughs> or ignition 12 volts and ground will not work well as you, you can see there's a three uh, 
three uh, wire from the power supply fully working. I hope you enjoyed the video there. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, on the comments uh, box.